This is Kathy from Gadget Stop 321 and in today's video I'm going to be taking a look at Krishna Winter Sheen. I'll be testing it in a variety of pens and nib sizes ranging from a Pilot Extra Fine to a 1.5 stub. I'll be doing a writing sample on Tomoe River paper and I'll also take a look at some writing samples on various other papers. Now I'm going to start with the Pilot 78G with an extra fine nib. All right. Okay, it's not scratchy, which is unusual for this extra fine nib. It's pretty dry. You can feel on the paper, it feels like um, the ink's not wanting to come out of the nib. It just, it, it's, it's a drier ink, but it was not scratchy, which is good. Next, I've got a Prera, Pilot Prera with a fine nib. Now this is quite a bit smoother than the extra fine, which is pretty common. The extra fine or the fine nib is putting down noticeably more ink than the extra fine. Next I've got another Pilot 78G with a medium nib. Now, this is quite a bit drier. I didn't get, I don't have a Pilot Gold nib. My Pilot Gold nibs tend to be wetter than these steel nibs. And this ink is a, a sheening ink. Um, I would recommend using this ink in a wetter nib. I should have gotten a wetter nib out. One of my wetter finer nibs, but all right, that's the Pilot Medium. Now this is another Pilot Pereira with the Cursive Medium nib or also known as the 1.0 stub. Let me make sure I'm in focus. Okay, now we're getting into some wetter nibs. This is a Nemesine Singularity with a 0.6 stub nib. Getting quite a bit wetter there. And finally, I've got a Jinhao X750 with a 1.5 stub nib. Now, 
Okay, and while we're waiting for that to dry, we can take a look at some of the other papers. Now, this is my ARC notebook paper. It's pretty absorbent, but it's thick, so it's usable with fountain pens. Now, look how dry it is, how quickly the ink dries and soaks into the paper. Something unusual with this, my Pilot Prera, which is normally really smooth, was scratchy with this one. And it, it's not the edges. It's not because it's an italic nib. It's not the edges digging into it. It feels like the nib slit, some an edge is catching there. Same thing with the Nemesine. The Nemesine is like a round nib. It's a stub, but it's perfectly round. It was also scratchy. The inside of the nib slit was catching on this paper, which is unusual. And this is another one of those inks. With it being kind of dry, it didn't want to grab the paper. So that 1.5 stub, the wideness of it, the line variation, just didn't want to show up. Notice on the T here and the vertical strokes on the 1.5. So it was not great on this paper, which this is not the type of paper you want to use a, a ink that is known for its sheen because the sheen's not going to show up anyway, even if it is performing okay otherwise. On my Rhodia paper, it was doing some of the same thing. See the T? It just wasn't wanting to grab the paper. Now, my Prera was scratchy again. Let me go back up here to the top. See the extra fine? It's like the ink's not wanting to grab the paper. Look how thin and wispy it is. It's a little bit too fine. The, the stainless steel fine and medium pilot nibs just felt kind of dry on the paper. And the Prera was scratchy again, but the Nemesine was smooth this time. The fact that it's putting down more ink on this smooth paper um, kind of smoothed out the nib, and it was pleasant to play with. But my 1.5 stub still just didn't want to grab the paper. But again, I'm not, I'm not really seeing any sheen on this Rhodia paper. On my 20 pound copy paper, again, you're not gonna see any sheen. The extra fine nib was kind of scratchy, but the fine and medium, it got nicer to work with. But, you know, you're not really, you're not getting the sheen. It's called winter sheen, but on this kind of paper, you don't see the sheen. My Pilot Prera, again, was scratchy, especially on the horizontal strokes. The inside of the nib slit was just grabbing the paper. Now, the 0.6 stub and the 1.5 stub were okay on this paper. And surprisingly, very little, very little feathering. Now, when I flip this over... Very little bleed through also. Even on, on the stub nib, you just have the few spots of bleeding through. On the 0.6 stub, very little bleed through. And the rest of them, like the, the medium nib and the fine nib that wrote nicely, absolutely no bleed through. This would be a good ink for grading papers does not want to bleed through or feather on copy paper. All right, and finally, my little writing sample, my ink log that I'm keeping in my Leutch term. Um, I'm seeing a halo. I don't know how well this will show up. But there is, let me see if I turn it maybe this way toward the sunlight. It's like it's magenta. You can see it's kind of a magenta-y purple. And it's got just a hint of like a blue halo. 
really looks good on this cream color paper and the halo shows up nicely on this Leuchtturm paper. I want to go ahead and show you on my napkin where I'm keeping some ink samples. Let's see, here it is. This will give you an indication of the makeup of this ink. It's like a purpley magenta with a blue halo. All right, let's take a look at my Tomoe River paper. The extra fine, fine, and medium are just a bright pink ink. When you get to the Pilot Pereira, you start seeing some uh, shading. And then when you get to these wetter nibs, the 0.6 stub and the 1.5, you start to see the halo. So this is a this is a fun ink. If I use when I use it, I'll probably be using it in my Nemesine point six. And it's a bright enough color. Uh, I can see myself using this in my journal. I don't know if I would buy an entire bottle of it. Um, but this the ink sample has been fun to play with. All right, if you found this video helpful, please give me a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel.